live from Arlington Texas an AOS matchup on the show it's the Los Angeles Angels and the Texas Rangers first pitch coming at you right after the break and now your 2022 Texas Rangers just about ready to go and today's starting pitcher Martin Perez well he's not a rookie but still very young in this game learning his craft I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff looking steps to the plate the pitch swing and a miss and we're underway first pitch 135. Line drive. That's a hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Mike Trout. That's hard hit on the line. White pulls it down, and there's one down. That Here's Joe Madden's lineup for the, the Angels. Fielder, number three. Someone who makes things Taylor. happen for them, in part Four. with his legs, Andrew Velasquez. And he's leading them in run. Slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure, and he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. The 0 2. Fastball almost got him there. In the dirt, blocked. Man at first, and that next for L.A., Jack Mayfield. Baseman, Jack Mayfield. That one the other way, and foul ball. Marsh, the runner at first with two gone. Center field. White makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the first. Today's starting pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. With the height, the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches. So coming into the zone, really hard for the hitters to get on plane. Makes it very difficult for the hitters to guess. Got, Bottom of the Rangers. first. Here is Marcus Simi. Marcus. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is downstairs. Right side. Ward drifts towards it. Can't get there. Base hit. Not stopping. He's going for three. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. Here's Nick Solak.
Batting second. The right fielder. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a foul ball. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Going to now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one away. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Well, three pitches, that down, down, fastball Look up, swinging, hey, move. It's like learning a chord progression, bro. getting those strums right. Man, so many pitchers prefer working north-south these days compared to the east-west, and that was a great example right there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And he chases that one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. The first baseman. First pitch, just misses. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. Fouled off, he was late. Swings and misses. And the count is one and two. The pitch. To the right side. Throws to first. And that is the inning. Rangers leave one. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. Matt Duffy to lead it off. Leading off to the end. The first place is number five. Perez back Matt. to work. That one ripped. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got That's a good it. pitch to drive. Stayed so short with his bat seven. path to the ball and Joe. caught it out front. And Where's he down? stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next one misses, and that's ball one. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boog. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back there. Oh! His first homer of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Cutter inside can be a bat breaker. You have to catch it out front to get the barrel to it. Does a really good job recognizing it early, getting the bat head to it, hitting it out of the ballpark. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. He'll circle the bases. His first homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Andrew Velasquez getting ready to hit. Andrew Velasquez. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Popped up. And puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Batting, no. Now batting Tyler the Wade. Second baseman. Tyler Wade. Next pitch has popped up. Culberson settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Out number two. Now batting. So the batting Doesn't order turns turn. over. Brandon. Now it's the DH. Mark. Brandon Marsh. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that.